Ah, welcome. What can I do for you? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> By the way, I know. <laughs> but I've got to do what I got to do. Well, of course. Yes, yes. How about we? How about we continue this discussion inside? Please, please, have a seat over here. Would you care for something to eat or drink? No, no, no. It's not a problem at all. No, I just want to make sure you feel welcome. I don't want to disappoint a new customer now, do I? Well, all right. If there's anything you need, please, feel free to ask. <laughs> not what you expected, huh? Having a nice warm shop in the middle of a cave is fairly non-traditional, I would say. I try to be hospitable to my guests, since these kinds of things tend to make people feel a bit uneasy and nervous, especially from newcomers like you. But, nevertheless, I guess my reputation does precede me. Now, the real question is, where did you hear that from? Your friend. A potion to help you with stress. Uh, ah, ah, yes. That young man. He's come in quite a few times, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Curious that he would say those kinds of things about me, considering his frequent visits. But yes, I, I do recall him mentioning a friend of his. The descriptions didn't quite do you justice, though. You've been given quite a gift with those eyes, I must say. I speak nothing but the truth. I've had many guests who would, who would give the world to have eyes like yours. <laughs> well, well, I'm flattered to hear that. You see, most people tend to think I'm some, some sort of old, decrepit, foggy, who lures pretty little girls into his grasp before ripping their hearts out. But as you can see, not all of us are like that. That's not how I do things around here, I'm afraid. Everything I provide is through a mutual agreement between me and my guests. We decide what makes for a fair trade together. I won't make you do anything you don't want to do. However, just know that it goes both ways. Oh no no no, don't don't worry too much about that. I'm fairly easy to negotiate with. I'm very flexible. Of course, sorry. I want the best experience for all my guests. So I definitely want to make sure that you feel comfortable with whatever decision you make. Very good. So, let's get started then, shall we? What brings you here today? Oh, a love potion. Very humble of you. Our boy's really not coming to you in flux. Hmm, seems like such a waste. You shouldn't have to be forced to use a love potion, sweetheart. Not worth such a pretty face. I mean everything I say. Really, those boys have no taste. Well, if you're sure, then I guess I'll make one for you. A love potion should be fairly simple. Now the question is, how potent would you like it to be? You see, the strength of a love potion is dependent on what you are willing to give up for it. A day or two of someone's love would cost you a pittance. But, but, but. One, one that lasts a lifetime will cost you something worth a lifetime. What that is, well, 
That's up for us to figure out now. Together, isn't it? Sir, I'll let you start. Where will it be, my dear? Going all in then, I see. Quite the go-getter, don't you? Are you sure that's what you want? Well, I must say, I, I admire your confidence in that. It's not often that someone asks for something of that magnitude for their first request. But now, here's the fun part. What would you be willing to give up in exchange for something oh so priceless? Oh. Something... different. Tell me then, speak your proposition. A game? It depends on what kind. <laughs> rather bold, rather bold of you to suggest something like that to me. Rather bold, expecting me to go along with you, not paying up, assuming you win this game of yours. Give me one good reason why I should agree to this. Hmm. Now that's a dangerous wager, you know. Hmm, offering yourself like that, if you lose. Hmm, now, what could I possibly do with a girl like you, if I win? <laughs> Guess we'll figure that out when the time comes. Hmm. All right then, I'll play your game. It's been a long time since I've had a lot of fun, but let's make sure that we're both in agreement here. I'll give you the love potion. You are not allowed to tell anyone of its contents. You are not allowed to coerce or force anyone to consume it. You cannot sneak it into anyone's foods or drinks. They must drink it willingly. If you can get someone to do so in a week, the potion is yours, free of charge. If you can't, then I am free to do whatever I please with you. Is that a deal? Excellent. I'm glad you asked. That's where this comes in. This necklace will tell me how successful you are in your endeavors. And regardless of whether you are successful or not, it will bring you back here once the week is up. Oh, and it won't come off during that time. The spell will keep you from doing so. So, are we in agreement? Alright. Let the games begin. Welcome back. Looks like our little game is over. You lose. <laughs> I don't think I had to tell you that. Rather a curious approach you took there, though. Are you playing me for a fool? That was a very half-hearted attempt you made. Not very interesting to watch you not pour your heart out and soul into getting the man you love to drink every last drop of that potion. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, no. Having you succeed wasn't my intention. I just wanted to see you grovel as you saw. Your chances at love fade away. To see the tears 
flowing down that pretty face of yours, fully knowing that your life would no longer be yours in a few days' time. Honestly, it would have been amazing to see, after all the trouble your friend went through before. How ironic that the girl he wanted a love potion for would try the same thing with him and fail. <laughs> Miss Reply. Yes, yes. You didn't really think that that, that was a stress relieving potion, did you? Did you? Not a very long lasting love potion, but it did the trick for a few days. Guess that means you didn't plan to use yours on him. Poor thing. I pity him now, now that he is about to lose you. He spoke so fondly of you, you know. <laughs> Honestly, that might actually make up for a little game. The thought of, of someone so desperate for someone else's love, that they use a love potion on them, only for their love to be reciprocated when it all goes away. And the fact that he didn't even know makes it even more priceless. <laughs> I won't deny that. Your friend might have gotten some things right about me. Still, though, to downplay my hospitality like that is a bit unfair. No, it's the all the thanks I get after all the potions I've made for him. If he is unsatisfied with the results, then he only has himself to blame. We came to an agreement, and I followed through. Just like I'm doing here with you. You set the ground rules, and I complied. Oh... Please, do tell. Why didn't you bother trying then? No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Don't be shy, don't be shy, my dear. I would like for us to be honest with each other. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, you're funny. You're funny, you know that. Oh no, no, you must understand. Why wouldn't I believe you when we're supposed to be honest with each other? Hmm. It's just that the thought of a sweet little thing like you wanting to be swept off your feet by a bad guy is something I find very amusing. But using a tactic like that is a pretty roundabout way of doing things, don't you agree? Still, I... I'm quite surprised you didn't even think to try to get me to drink the potion. Not that I would have. There's no need for that. I... I think you underestimate how much I'm willing to take as an offer. I did agree to your little game, didn't I? Why would I if I wasn't the least bit interested in the prize at the end? Oh, I know quite a bit about you. Your friend didn't pour his feelings out about you to someone he finds unpleasant for no reason. Something so precious as, as a chance at love for all the little details about someone like you it would have been a fair trade. But I say again, he really didn't do you justice. <laughs> Judging from your actions, he must have spoken well enough about me. Though, maybe not in the way he intended. But tell me, what is it about offering yourself to me that you find so, so enticing? Is it the thought of being safe from the villain's wrath as he strikes down his enemies? You think you can soften him up to be the perfect lover who only has his eyes for you? Or maybe... You just like the thrill of being so close to something so dangerous. <laughs> Is that so? So, what do you think the villain will do now, now that he has this sweet little girl in his grasp? They had a deal, didn't they? He gets to do whatever he wants with her. Doesn't he? Well, how about, how about he starts by taking what's rightfully his? Yes. 
so much sweeter than I thought it would be. Even with all the fancies I conjured up in my head from all the stories he told, it can't compare to the real thing. Oh, look at you, with your eyes closed like that. You want more of that, don't you? your life now. I get to do whatever I please with you. But don't. Don't worry. Don't worry. No harm will come to you unless you ask for it. You will be taken care of completely. I assure you. You will want for, for nothing for the rest of your days. Your new life will be everything that you imagine it will be. And I'll make sure you enjoy every moment of it, my dear. <laughs> 